Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Momo Tree. My name's Nez and today is a very, very special day. We're at Church's Performance Cars, the leading A45 AMG specialist in the country. And I want to say a massive thank you to them for allowing us this amazing opportunity to come and film these five fantastic A45 AMGs. So without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> Guys, I'd like to introduce you to Glenn. Glenn is the owner of Church's Performance Cars. Glenn, thank you so much for this amazing Welcome. opportunity. Welcome. So Glenn is going to take us through each of these A45 AMGs, tell us the specs, what's unique, what to look out for on an A45, and why Church's Performance Cars is the place to come if you're looking for an A45 AMG. Right, Glenn, should we go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So Glenn, tell me a bit more about this uh, lovely grey called Pipe It. Okay, well this one here is, uh, is quite a late model Mark 1 A45. Um, mounting grey metallic, which is a very popular colour. Um, a very high spec car this one, so we've got, uh, from memory, you've got the night package, the aero kit, which is uh, these uh, flicks here, and um, the high level rear spoiler on the back. Um, which is a, a, a very, very popular uh, extra. Probably about £1,200 from you when you right. buy it, something right. like that. Um, you've got, on this particular model, 19-inch alloy wheels, which uh, come in black with, uh, with, a, with a polished lip. Privacy glass, that's a pretty standard feature. Uh, you've got folding mirrors on this car, which isn't standard. You've got a pan roof, so panoramic roof is definitely an option that people look out for. You've got full exclusive leather. I'll take you inside this car in a second, but um, I think that sort of covers everything on the outside. <coughs> the A45 is a really well spec car anyway, so they come pretty highly equipped. Television lighting, uh, collision warning, uh, Bluetooth, telephone and audio, and the standard, brain sensing wipers, and pretty much everything you could want from a, a, a modern Hot hatch. Okay, so we're now in the cockpit. Um, what immediately apparent on the A45s and people generally like is that the uh, it's a nice place to be. Uh, so there's lots of sporty highlights and accents around the cockpit. Uh, nice red bezels on the uh, on the air vents. Lots of aluminium. Uh, nicely designed stitching um, on the seats. This car, as I've already said, is a really high spec A45, so um, I can't think of too many options that you can add over and above that what this car's got. Um, to talk through the main the main criteria of this one, uh, it's got the AMG performance steering wheel, um, which is different to the uh, standard. So you've got these Alcantara pieces. Um, which I know it's a small thing, but uh, I, when I get in a car, it, it's one of the two things that you actually touch when you're driving. So you've got a steering wheel that you that you hold, and it, it actually makes a lot of difference to the to the feel of the car when you're touching something that feels uh, chunky and sporty. And that Alcantara really does make a bit of a difference. When you buy the AMG uh, performance steering wheel, you get this. Uh, hooped SLS style gear knob uh, which is uh, which is a nice little feature it took us a little while to, to work out what bit of uh, kit that comes with but it's the, with the AMG performance steering wheel is what what you what you need you've got heated seats not a standard feature um, which some people are surprised on uh, they did make it a standard feature on the next generation A45 but um, heated seats on this car are extra You've got power folding mirrors, I think I mentioned that on the outside of the car. This car has got uh, exclusive leather and uh, what that gives you is a full leather upholstery, perforated with red stitching and that's extended onto the dashboard um, which, is, which is lovely and uh, it gives a sort of more of a, an upmarket feel to the car. 
we mentioned the panoramic roof on the outside and um, that makes quite a bit of difference to the to the light intake uh, when you're inside and again as I said it's, a, it's an option that a lot of people like to see. From a technology point of view the, uh, the A45 I already mentioned that the Bluetooth telephone and audio is, is a standard feature. The satellite navigation isn't standard so if you want satellite navigation on your A45 uh, you need to be looking for one with either the basic navigation which is a Becker Map Pilot system uh, that relies on a, a module which goes into the um, glove box. You want the full satellite navigation it's command Mercedes uh, historically have already always done a, a good command nat satellite navigation system which this one's got full sat nav, full screen, voice control, um, all singing, all dancing, satellite navigation. The map pilot system, perfectly good, it'll get you where you need to go but it is a, a slightly uh, less functional um, bit of kit. Guys, just um, for the purposes of people who maybe haven't seen the, um, the seats in the AMG, they're a real feature of the car. Um, there is only one seat available for the AMG A45, so unlike perhaps the RS Focus and I think uh, the Audi range where you upgrade to a, a, a race style seat, it's standard on the A45. Um, so this is it, you've got basically a very figure hugging seat, um, quite nicely padded and certainly very comfortable, it hugs you quite tightly around the, around the sides but can cope for most people's uh, figure, you, you don't get too many complaints. Um, but uh, the only difference is with the seats is, as I said to you before, you can get the exclusive leather which is uh, this featured on this car and it's part of the exclusive pack and instead of Alcantara which is like a suede kind of material the seats are covered uh, as I say in full leather and you do get these nice uh, aluminium finish should we call them hoops I don't know what you call them but uh, I'm sure there's probably a name um, but on the standard seats they come in black so you add out as much um, on the exclusive pack like this car you've got a nice aluminium finish <laughs> So we've now just swapped cars. Um, the purpose of that is to show you uh, a car with the AMG Performance Sports Exhaust. So the 65 plate car that we had before didn't have that. This 63 plate car, still in mountain grey, has the AMG Performance Sports Exhaust. So what you get with this is uh, no extra HP, it's no performance uh, enhancement, but you do get some really nice pops and crackles when you, uh, especially on the overrun. Um, and you're in sports mode, it really does sound the business. Visually, if you ever wanted to just know whether the car's got uh, the AMG Performance Sports Exhaust, you can tell very quickly uh, there's a central bar there that just separates the exit. Um, into two pieces, uh, that's it really, and um, you know that it's got the performance exhaust. About a 500, 600 pound cost option when the car's new, so lots of them have got it, uh, it wasn't overly expensive, um, and it's a, a really big benefit and something that people do quite like. Right guys, so we're about to go out with Glenn in the A45 AMG with a performance exhaust. He's going to kindly show us uh, how it sounds and how it performs on the road. So uh, hold tight, sit back, this is going to be an exciting ride. Here we go. Five miles an hour, 
miles an hour. You can have that lifted if you if you see the need. So Glenn, these are four-wheel drive, aren't they, these yeah. cars? Four-wheel drive, it's an intelligent four-wheel drive, so um, a bit like the Audi, uh, but uh, the Quattro system, it uh, sends traction to, to the front and the rear intelligently as to where it's most needed. Um, but uh, where obviously Audi have been using it for a long time in the Quattro, the, um, the Mercedes uh, system is a, is a newer system, but is right up there uh, amongst the, back, the best. The, uh, the speed in which it um, makes those decisions is, is absolutely incredible. So it's a very, very planted drive, um, fantastic traction, fantastic camber. Uh, it's got a negative camber on the front, so um, yeah, it's a very focused, uh, no understeer, brilliant, brilliant drive. The thing is, your whole family can come along, isn't it? It's not just... Well, you, you joke, uh, you joke, but um, absolutely. We get so many people who are coming uh, across from coupes, uh, which have been sort of uh, historically uh, for the last few years, the, the faster cars, the M3s and things, and, and, yeah. uh, and they need the practicality. You know, they want a fast car, but they want to be able to put the push chair in the back and uh, on, on the days out. So, you, joking aside, it, it really is a very practical car. Say, so guys, these seats are fantastic. These are the AMG Performance seats, also found on the C63s and the AMG GTR. These are brilliant, and the ride is brilliant as well. It's not too stiff at all, is it? No, I think it's it's pretty compliant. I mean, the roads in, in Surrey and Sussex are, uh, are not very forgiving, so you certainly feel any, every bump and uh, and pothole in this area. And, and as I say, we I don't find it an uncomfortable drive. It's it's, it's pretty much exactly as you'd want it. So. Uh, comfortable but, uh, but certainly not sloppy. <laughs> Aero quality is absolutely fantastic. Mercedes have nailed this carbon effect dashboard. Um, what other things would you say, Glenn, are must-haves in the interior? I'm sure we've already pointed out earlier. Well, as I said, I think that it's just a nice place to be. It's a, it's a very modern looking um, cockpit. It's, uh, everything's close at hand. It's very, very well thought out. Looks great with the red bits, the plenty of aluminium trim, yeah. and uh, it's, it's how, you, how it should be when you get in a, a sports car. You paid a lot of money for it. Um, you, you've got to feel like you're in a, in a good car, you know, and, and, and that's what it does. And don't forget, guys, got comfort mode, which is cars in at the moment, and a yeah. manual mode. You stick it in a sports mode, and. Um, That's our fault guys, we've well, chosen the best time to come, yeah. but um, yeah, automatically in sport mode I can feel, you can hear the, the crackles Glenn was talking about earlier, you can, hear, bah, bah. You can tell it's eager to go, which is fantastic. GoPro, which is good. Hey. <laughs> We're still, oh, still yeah, there. Yeah, still, still hanging on. <laughs> We're still hanging on for dear life. Lovely, just the entrance to Top Gear track. Oh wow! Yeah, so, Dunsfold. Yeah, Dunsfold. Just need someone that um, that can turn a blind eye to sort of a 150 mile an hour test drive. <laughs> 
So hear that guys, when you come down to this guys, you can literally pop down the Top Gear test track, drive the car and then buy it straight away. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. We've got R8s, GTRs, Lambos. Wow, Glenn, thank you. That is the actual Top Gear test pack. <laughs> wow, what a little bonus for you guys. Fantastic guys, I can't. This is a turbocharged engine. It's a turbocharged four cylinder engine and it sounds brilliant. <laughs> Mercedes, they are the kings at the moment with turbos and their AMG GTEs sound amazing. It, it sounds brilliant, guys. This is the actual Top Gear hangar. It's wow. Not, it's not open today, but that is where that, that is where they shoot <laughs> Top Gear, yeah, guys. So Glenn, could you please tell us a bit more about Church's performance cars, how long it's been going, and apart from 8045s, what other products are you specialise in? Yeah, I always happy to talk about that. Uh, the, the, the business is, um, was established in 2002, um, just uh, one car on my driveway, which is a Subaru, a WRX, um, I remember it very clearly, and um, we progressed, or I progressed to um, having a little collection of Civic Type R's, which in their day was probably the A45, you know, so, um, and I would either move those around in the trade to, to Honda dealers, um, or I'd sell a few off my drive, and and uh, before the social media kind of um, thing really gathered speed, um, I was on the forums of the Civic Type R's and the Integra Type R's, and I was selling those to, um, to quite a small audience of people. As we progressed sort of in size and, and we sold more cars, I um, I kind of went to Astro GSIs and uh, VXRs and we, we always had a hot hatch theme to Church's performance cars. So the people that know us of old would, uh, would always associate us with a hot hatch market. Uh, we're now, I suppose uh, 15 years later, we're, we're now sort of up to 60 cars. Um, wow. And uh, about 18 months ago, I guess, um, we, I, I kind of had a hankering that I wanted to, um, I wanted to have a specialist, a signature car, and, and the AMG uh, just emerged, really. Uh, the C63 is just such a good product, didn't give me much uh, trouble, which is a, a motor dealer you need. You need. Thank you to, uh, to Glenn. Welcome. If you need any AMGs, A45, C63s, um, I've got Fiesta STs, just make sure you check out the website, I'll put all the links in the description. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, see you later. Thank you guys.